What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 134 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best gaming setups. This week's gonna be a special single monitor only edition, so if you're into that simple single monitor life, this one's for you. If you see anything in this episode, I will have it all listed for you in the description down below, so you can check it out if you like it. And let's start off episode 134. All right, first up is my man Steve O'Boy here, and I could tell already lots of RGB in this setup. And just checking out a lot of his tech at first glance, he's either a pretty big fan of the channel because this is a lot of stuff that I've highly recommended over the past few years, or we've just got some good taste. So first up for that solo display, it is a 27 inch IPS panel from AOC. And this does come in at 1080p. But as for the peripherals and some of the gadgets on his desk, he's rocking the Logitech G513 gaming keyboard with the Logitech G703 mouse on their PowerPlay mouse pad. And four gadgets that I absolutely love, got the Amazon Echo Spot, see the Lometric Smart Clock there, the uh, the Griffin Powerbank multimedia controller, huge fan of that. And then the Elgato Stream Deck. So his desktop here is laid out with some top of the line gear. Year. Then for audio, he's rocking the Audio Technica ATH M50X headphones, and those desktop speakers are the Yamaha HS5. Keeping everything in line to kind of like a black and white look. Also, huge fan of the Tommins wooden desk lamp there he's got. Definitely fits in well. Then as for his PC, inside the NZXT S340 Elite case is the Intel i5 4590 CPU with an NZXT Kraken X62 AIO. Got 16 gigs of HyperX RAM on an MSI Z97 Crate Edition motherboard with an MSI GTX 1060 GPU. And yes, of course, with that extra flair, the NZXT Q+. And then across the room, what I'm digging here for like an entertainment setup, he's got a nice 40 inch 4K TV from Samsung there mounted to the wall. Also got like a little platform there for his Xbox and stuff so he can just kick back, chill, watch movies, play games, all that stuff on there. But all together, Steve, my man, definitely a killer setup. I always dig bedroom setups like this because you can just roll out of bed and start gaming right away. But I'm a real big fan of everything you got going on here. Some really great tech. Now we got Eden Pulse, and this one probably could have even fit in with last week's setup where it was like that nice clean and minimal edition. This is just, you know, feeling good in all the good spots. Wait, what? So for a solo display, you could see it is mounted on an arm bracket off to the left side there, which does have been hidden nicely by some other gear. But this is a 34-inch monitor from LG, the 34UM88P. And the RGB light strip behind the desk definitely gives it some nice separation as well. So propped up in one of those IKEA Alex drawers is this really nice looking wooden desk. I don't think it's one of the Carlby desktops. This one looks different. Definitely a bit of a darker finish as well, but a really nice, nicely uh, complements the look of the setup as well as contrasting some of the white gear as well as those uh, those drawers. As for his peripherals, his keyboard is the Apple Magic Wireless Keyboard with the Logitech MX Master 2S mouse. You can see those speakers in the back. Those are the Harman Kardon Nova speakers. And then checking out his PC here, love these little mini I ITX builds. Checking this one out inside here is an Intel i7 8700K CPU with the Noctua NH-U9S CPU cooler on a Gigabyte Z370 mini Wi-Fi motherboard, about 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM with an EVGA GTX 1080 ACX3 GPU, tons of some uh, M.2 SSD space for those Samsung 960 Evos, brought together really compact and stuff, saves a lot of space on his desktop. Plus, he's got that little Darth Vader figure with the little uh, mask right next to it. Just little things, you know, to add more character personalization to the desktop. So when it's all said and done, clean, simple, really nice and classy looking, I'd say. Just a big fan of that wooden desktop's finish. It could be the Carlby, I don't know. And the RGB light strip behind the desk is just subtle enough to make this kind of stand out. Now we got Jason, and yes, this is still a single solo monitor because up top is a mounted TV, but hey, we're sticking with it here. And we have another white and wooden setup theme. This is definitely becoming more popular. As for his solo display, that is the ASUS PG348Q. And this ROG Swift monitor comes in at 3440x1440p with a 100Hz refresh rate with G-Sync built in. And then as for his peripherals, is the Logitech G910 keyboard with the Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum mouse, aka the best mouse in the world, on a hard mouse pad from Logitech. Then off to the side in one of his Alex drawers, he has some extra things like his PS4 controller, some RGB uh, light strip remotes, and his headset, which is the uh, Corsair Void Pro. And then speaking of audio for his desktop speakers, he has the Audio Engine A2 Plus. This gives you a pretty good look as well of just his cable management. Everything is definitely tied down underneath, nice and tidy, so nothing is, you know, drooping down, getting in the way. 
And at first I thought they were just notebooks, but you could see his PS4 Pro there off to the uh, left side under his desk as well. And now we head over to the PC and he's rocking the NZXT H700i case in white. Inside here is an Intel i7 8700K CPU with an NZXT Kraken X72 AIO. Got 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM on an Asus Maximus Hero X Wi-Fi motherboard and an Asus GTX 1080 Ti Strix graphics card. And yet again, a ton of Samsung SSD space for, you know, games, he says movies and stuff like that. And these are becoming so affordable now that it's just awesome. You can see he's got this kind of like ice blue color theme going on in his PC. And yes, above his setup is his 43 inch 4K Samsung TV, but all together as a whole, definitely a pretty nice setup. Got a white and wooden aesthetic complemented by some blue RGB lights in his PC and all his peripherals. And a good use of space by utilizing those desktop risers there. Now we've got Flippity Flopper. Yup. Listen, I don't ask questions. And this is another one when I just first saw it, it was just so refreshing. Very chic and modern as well. Big fan of the way this looks. And then if you want, when the lights are off, throw on some RGB lighting, change up the wallpaper, and then it all just pops. It's funny how much a simple wallpaper change could really just change the whole look of a setup as well. So for a solo display, that is an Asus MG278Q coming at 27 inches. Of course, I'm referring to the monitor, people. Got a few plants around the desktop as well, always digging that. And for his peripherals, his keyboard is the Drevo Caliber with brown switches inside. Also has some white LEDs. And his mouse is a SteelSeries Rival 100. He's using that with the SteelSeries Quick mouse pad. And then for audio, the headset of choice is the HyperX Cloud Core, and his speakers are the JBL LSR 305. Then for the PC, inside the NZXC H440 case is an Intel i5-6400 CPU, cooled by the Corsair Hydro H60 AIO, got 8 gigs of Kingston HyperX RAM, and an EVGA GTX 960 FTW graphics card. So definitely good stuff from Flippity Flopper here. Even wanted to throw in that he made this little DIY desk lamp here, the kind of nice Edison bulb. Gave it a nice kind of, you know, like a throwback industrial kind of design overall. It also looks like he has some light clamped to that uh, that rod over on the left side of his desk. Not too sure what that is, but it's definitely pretty cool. The space is kept clean, nice and simple looking. Flippity Flopper. And then lastly, this one really caught my eye. I think because of, I just really love that wallpaper. And you guys know I'm like a desk whore. I love the way this desk looks. Again, it's just a, a nice glossy wooden finish here. Definitely stands out. And again, with those white peripherals and stuff like that, it just makes it all pop. How many times have I said that on this series? Probably a few thousand. So the solo display of choice here is an LG 34 UM59P, a nice 34 inch ultra wide. And on the desktop, we have the Huyo GZ88 RGB keyboard, if that's how you even say it, with the Mechanical Eagle Z7300 mouse and the Logitech Z200 speakers there off in the background. And for his PC build, we have the NZXT S340 case in white. And a rare breed, we have an actual AMD build. Inside's AMD Ryzen 5 2600X CPU on a Gigabyte X470 Aurorus Ultra Gaming Motherboard. Got 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM and an MSI GeForce GTX 1060 gaming graphics card. Definitely going for like a white and black build in terms of the actual hardware with those RGB fans, again, for some extra color and stuff. And one thing I really like about this shot in particular is even though the desktop wallpaper is kind of blown out, you can see the reflection of like, you know, the, the ambient lighting in his room as well as just the, the orange and reddish hues from his wallpaper reflecting off that glossy wooden desktop. So really like that. And this just goes to show you how the little things on your setup can just take it to a whole new level and having a great looking wallpaper and desk always helps. And this episode of Room Tour Project is sponsored by Corsair and the brand new Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM in white. Absolutely loving the way these look. Has dynamic multi-zone RGB lighting. Can all be customized within their software. It's also compatible with Asus Aurora, Gigabyte Fusion, and MSI Mystic Light motherboards. Coming in both 8 and 16 gigabyte module density, these can easily hit 4600 megahertz speeds. I'm definitely adding these to my PC. If you want to find out more, check the links in the description down below. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 134 of Room Tour Project. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget, check the links in the description down below for all the gear and products you saw. Have listed down there for you, as well as some simple instructions. If you want to submit your setup to be possibly considered on a future episode of Room Tour Project, just check the description for everything. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button.
Long Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.